Hey everyone, it's Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us. In today's video, we are talking about the fuel costs when comparing a Tesla Model Y against a Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Before we do that, I just want to acknowledge our sponsors for tonight, which is driver.com.au. They specialize in electric vehicle loans. Uh, they source 30 plus lenders across uh, Australia to give you a tailored solution uh, for your needs. So if you're looking for a loan or finance for a new electric vehicle, uh, look no further than driver.com.au. They'll help you out to uh, find the best deal for you in Australia. Alright, so to start off, let's look at the pricing between a Toyota RAV4 GX 2.5 litre hybrid, which is the base model for the RAV4, against a Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive, which is the base model for a Model Y. So the Toyota RAV4 comes in at $45,079 in New South Wales, whereas the Tesla Model Y in New South Wales is $72,186 drive away. Looking at the dimensions between the two vehicles, uh, here they are uh, comparing them side on, uh, front on and from the back as well. The Tesla Model Y is 15 centimeters longer. The Tesla Model Y is also 12.3 centimeters wider with the mirrors shut and the RAV4 is 3.1 centimeters wider with the mirrors open. The RAV4 is 6.1 centimeters higher and the Model Y has a longer wheelbase by 20 centimeters. The RAV4 is 2.3 centimeters higher off the ground, but the Model Y has 48% greater cargo volume uh, and also 19% heavier compared to the RAV4. Looking at sales figures, February 2023, the Tesla Model Y is the second highest electric vehicle uh, in terms of sale numbers. The uh, Toyota RAV4 comes in the top six for top sales of all cars across Australia. Uh, 2,115 uh, deliveries in 2023, February. And these charts are courtesy of the Driven and sourced from VFAX. So uh, in order to compare the fuel costs between the two vehicles, we need to look at the uh, fuel efficiency of the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. And I typed in Google, what is the real world uh, miles per gallon for the 2023 RAV4 Hybrid? And it says here that the EPA estimates it will achieve 41 miles per gallon in the city, uh, 38 miles per gallon on the highway, and 40 miles per gallon combined. So if we use this 40 miles per gallon figure, it is approximately 6 litres per 100 kilometres, and that's a little bit higher than the uh, manufacturer's efficiency of 4.7 litres per 100 kilometres. We must also look at the Model Y's efficiency and also the range. And the Model Y's website, or the Tesla website, says that the WLTP range, which is the standard we use here in Australia for electric vehicles, uh, has a range of 455 kilometres. If we look at the uh, website called evdatabase.org, which is what I commonly use for real-world range, it says that uh, estimated real-world range is 345 kilometers and efficiency of 167 watt-hours per kilometer. So if we sort of uh, take uh, the difference between these two numbers, we're looking at about 400 kilometers of range for the Tesla Model Y, and that's the figure we'll use for our comparison to see how much it costs to drive this number of kilometers uh, between the two cars. We must also look at the fuel pricing over the last 12 months in New South Wales, which is the state I live in, and looking at the charts from uh, fuelcheck.newsouthwales.gov.au, which is uh, a government website. Over the last 12 months, the highest fuel price in New South Wales was $2.05 per litre. That's uh, looking at both E10 and also uh, Unleaded 91. And the cheapest fuel so far was in September 2022, uh, a cost of $1.70. So for uh, our comparison in the next chart, we'll look at fuel between $1.70 and $2.05 per litre uh, when talking about how much it costs to drive 400 kilometres. All right, so here is the result. All right, so the cost to drive 400 kilometres between the RAV4 and also the Tesla Model Y. Uh, looking at the uh, fuel prices, as we said earlier, between $1.70 and $2.05, and also the different uh, charging prices, uh, and there are certainly different combinations of that uh, in Australia. So for the RAV4 efficiency of 6 litres per 100 kilometres, uh, you need 24 litres of fuel to drive 400 kilometres. And if you need 24 litres of fuel at $1.70 per litre, it's going to cost you $40.80. And if you are paying $2.05 at the pump, then it will cost you $49.20. Looking at the Tesla Model Y, uh, with an efficiency of 167 watt-hours per kilometre, if we're comparing apples with apples, across 100 kilometres, it's 16.7 kilowatt-hours per 100 kilometres. And you'll need 66.8 kilowatt-hours to drive 400 kilometers and that's the amount of energy we'll use to do our comparison so looking at the right hand side here for the charging prices if uh, you're lucky enough to be able to score free charging uh, around where you live uh, whether it be the shopping center or at work 
then obviously it's going to cost you nothing and that's great that's happy days instantly cheaper than driving the rav4 if you have solar panels at home you think it's free but of course there's an opportunity cost if you don't feed that energy back to the grid and uh, in my situation uh, the feed-in tariff is not great it's five cents per kilowatt hour but conversely that means that it's very cheap to charge an electric vehicle at my place if you're using solar so for 66.8 kilowatt hours at five cents per kilowatt hour to drive 400 kilometers it's going to cost me three dollars and 34 cents charging purely from solar energy if you have uh, an electricity plan like mine from PowerShop and they charge you seven cents per kilowatt hour, which is the cheapest I can find in my area uh, between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m. Monday to Friday, then it's going to cost me five dollars to uh, drive 400 kilometers. For most people, if they've got a time of use tariff, then it's 15 cents usually uh, overnight uh, during off peak periods. And that will cost you ten dollars and two cents to use 66.8 kilowatt hours of energy. Now we're getting into the DC fast charging section now. So what I've said so far for charging is usually AC, which means it's a slower charge, but it is better for the battery charging, mainly AC. Uh, that's kind of the typed or level two charging uh, when we're talking about EV charging. They're generally cheaper, but they're slower, better for the battery and cheaper as well. So when we get to the 40 cent mark and then later on 60 and 74, so 40 cents generally is up to say a 50 kilowatt DC charger. That's generally a pricing for that kind of speed and DC charging is more expensive because you're paying for the convenience uh, you're paying for the speed of charging it's uh, generally speaking about five times at least five times faster than AC charging sometimes up to uh, 20 times faster than AC charging and you're paying for that convenience of course so at 40 cents per kilowatt hour DC charger and you are paying $26.72 uh, to charge that much energy to drive 400 kilometers that's still cheaper than uh, pumping $1.70 uh, for the RAV4. But now if we were to use this figure here, $40.80 at $1.70 per litre, and we put it into this section here for EV charging, if you're paying that much uh, to drive 400 Ks in a Model Y, that means you're paying $0.61 cents per kilowatt hour uh, at the EV charger, at the DC fast charger. Now Tesla superchargers are starting to get that expensive, and certainly some other third party options are as well. And again, I must stress you are paying that much because you are paying for convenience and for Tesla superchargers you're paying for reliability as well. So $40.80 at $0.60 cents per kilowatt hour, that's equivalent to paying $1.70 per litre at the petrol uh, pump. If you're paying $49.20 to drive 400 kilometres in your Tesla Model Y, you are paying uh, $0.74 cents per kilowatt hour uh, at the EV charger. Now the only situation where you'd be paying that much is as a non-member for a Tesla supercharger using a non-Tesla EV. That's a bit complicated I know but uh, Tesla is starting to open up their superchargers to non-Tesla EVs and if you're not a member then that's how much you pay. Um, so not, not many DC fast chargers are that expensive at the moment but if one day it does reach that amount then it's the equivalent of paying $2.05 per litre at the petrol pump because in both situations you're paying $49.20 to drive 400 kilometres uh, between the two cars, RAV4 and Tesla Model Y. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, that's just a snapshot of how much it costs to drive 400 kilometers uh, between the RAV4 hybrid and the uh, Tesla Model Y electric vehicle. In case you're still deciding which car to purchase, whether to go hybrid or pure electric vehicle. Of course, I do recognize that there are other factors involved when considering the total cost of ownership between the Toyota RAV4 and the Tesla Model Y such as insurance, maintenance, and the initial capital outlay to purchase this vehicle. But at least now you've got an idea of how much it costs to refuel both vehicles side by side. All right, everyone, you've been watching Tesla Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, until next time, happy charging.